Okay, I'll talk to you soon. You better. I want to know every detail okay. of every day. Okay. <laughs> Ada. Oh. Hello. Hi, Ada. Hi. When did you get back? Uh, last night. Welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. Well, come in. Thanks. Uh, that's... I know whose it is. I gave it to him for Christmas. Uh. I, uh, suppose you both saw the paper last night. Oh, the pictures. Yeah, I thought that kind of reporting went out with William Randolph uh. Hearst. I keep telling Amanda that it doesn't mean anything, you know, but every time I run into somebody I know, I feel like I have to explain those pictures. How is Amanda doing? Well, she's being very brave. I'm proud of her. Terrific lady. Yeah, she is. She's more worried about her mother and father than she is about herself. And what about Sam? Sam is very angry. The baby and they are staying with Mac and Rachel for a couple of days. The reporters are crawling all over their loft. I can imagine. Can I get you something? No, thanks, honey. I, I didn't come here to talk about those pictures anyway. Okay. I, uh... I wanted to see how you were doing. I miss you. Ada, I miss you too. Looks like we're going to be seeing a little more of each other. Well, maybe. Well, I wanted to invite you to dinner at Mary's place tonight, OK? Ada, you're so sweet. Vince and Mary have been asking about you, and the food's never been better. Charlene brings us all these fresh vegetables in from the farm. I'd love to come. Good. <laughs> Uh, let me ask you a minute. Charlene does her own baking, too, yeah, doesn't sure, she? Yeah, sure, like a dream. Huh. Look, you two talk. I've got a terrific idea. Well, <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye, Ada. Bye. See you later. Okay. 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 Hi. I thought oh, it was very high. I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, I know, I know. We have been so busy with all the new plans for the house. Uh, actually, I'm meeting John here. We're going to try to find and decide on an architect. Oh, great. Oh, well, <laughs> all right. Well, how's everything else? How's my feet? Oh, he is just fine. Actually, uh, you know, I'd love to talk to you. I am so worried about Marley. What's the matter? You know. Oh, you mean the fertility problem? Yes, she is so preoccupied with it. Well, Donna, it's a problem that she and Jake have to work out for themselves. I know, but she just sits around and broods about it all the time. And with Victoria being pregnant, I know this is just torture for her. And it's not easy on her mother to have to sit by and watch her go through it. Oh, well, I am not going to sit by and watch her go through it. I think she needs to find something to take her mind off of it. Uh, Donna, I'm not sure that's the answer. Well, of course it is. I think that Marley is a very insightful young woman, and I believe that she will figure out what's right for her. Well, I already know what's right for her. Of course you do. Now, wait just a minute. I do, I'm not interfering here. I'm Mary. I don't want you or anybody else to think that I'm interfering, because I'm not. I'm just trying to be helpful. Right, Donna. I, I... That was a wonderful lunch. Yes, yeah, so and we'll have to do it again. You're not here. Time. No, I guess they're upstairs. Still want to take me up on my offer? What offer? Mm hmm? To do it again. I thought the offer was for lunch. No, no. <laughs> well, tonight's still on? Mm hmm? My sweet of yours. And then you take a plane to New York. And two hours later, you're there. Liz, would you let me handle this, please? And two hours later, you're there. And then the Concorde whisks you away to Paris in five hours. It could be simpler. You know how I hate planes. It's two planes in one day. Calling the Concorde a plane is like calling the Queen Mary a... A rowboat. A dinghy. Oh, hello, Caroline. Hello. Oh, hi, Caroline. Hi. Uh, Nicole is really swamped today, Caroline. Well, actually, I'm here to see you, if you have a minute. Oh, she's here to see me. Do uh, I have a minute? Sure. Ah. Uh, okay. It's confidential. Let's go in the office. Oh, but I don't think... No, no, that's all right, Liz. No, but no, no, we wouldn't want to interfere with a man's privacy now, would we? I always seem to be interrupting. Yes, you do seem to have that knack, don't you? How can I help you? Well, the bid on the old mansion fell through, but in the meantime, I've found a new place near the center of town, and it's adjacent to the Corey Complex. I think I know that building. It used to be a furniture warehouse, right? Yeah. All right, well, I'll take a chance. I'll take a look at it the first chance I get. Listen, an engineer's already gone through and he says it's sound. I'm sure, but you're using Rachel's money, so mm -hmm. I'd like to take a look at it for myself. Well, please do. I 
Don't risk offending her on anything else. You really didn't know anything about frame construction? No, and I hope she's not offended that I've involved Jason Frame at all. Well, don't worry about it. Jason's a jerk, but we're going to have to find some way to work with him since he's John Hudson's partner. Yeah. Is there anything else? Not for today. All right, well, then I will uh, tell you what I think as soon as I get a chance to look at the building. Great. I'd really appreciate it. Bye-bye. So long.